Okay, so this is 3102 Odeker Avenue. Um, now, Odeker sits Mead Avenue, Finn Avenue. There is Willow School, so we're in the Willow neighborhood. Um, this house uh, was on fire and has uh, been completely gutted by fire about two months ago. Um, and as you can see, that's almost two months ago and it is still um, looking like this. It's wide open. Um, so if you have a kid or something and they're in this neighborhood, um, they can easily get into this house. Uh, it's not secured. Um, it's an absolute freaking mess. Um, still, uh, almost two months later, there's a cat. If you guys see it, it might actually belong to the owner. Um, anyway, as you can see from the house, the house is completely good. Now I told that this is an electrical fire or it was an electrical fire. Um, but as you can see, the charred remains of this house, you can literally walk right into this house. If you're a kid and you get curious, and that house is an absolute death trap. Now this happens all the time in this neighborhood, uh, specifically on the east side, and I've noticed it definitely in the Slavic Village, um, North Broadway area. Uh, houses catch on fire here, and they just, they're not secured, they're not boarded up, and they just sit like this for months and months and months, um, and they continue to be dangerous to the community. Um, the back house also, is wide open but it was never it was not part of the fire but if you come back here you can see this house was condemned so it's already a wreck um, so this structure should have been torn down months ago uh, you can see it's uh, got its violation sticker on there or violation paperwork there um, you can actually see uh, this is a search warrant, and uh, this was actually issued in 2019. Um, you can see down here, um, 2019 issue date, this is the violation of the property. Um, in other words, you can actually see all the way through it, you can actually see that window is also busted out. So both these properties are kind of in distress and uh, need to go. Um, but of course, they're just gonna sit here and continue to be wide open. Um, for however much longer. But this isn't the only house I know of over here. Hey, just for shits and giggles, let's head over, let's head over the Pershing Avenue. Hold on. So this house is 5054 Pershing. Um, this was actually gutted by fire in October 2019. And as you can see, it's still standing. Um, you can see that it's um I forget what that's called. But anyway, you can see where it's kind of like now. I've reported this house repeatedly for being open. Now it does look like it's been cleaned up recently, which is actually a good thing, but let's check around back. And see if it's secure. Okay, so you're a kid and you live in this neighborhood and you can literally walk into the back here. Um, these boards have been totally ripped off. I mean, obviously they use particle boards for Christ's sakes. Um, you can actually see debris. Now, here's what you can see here. You go right up these stairs, you can actually see daylight. I mean, those stairs don't look that secure because they're pretty black. Um, but you can literally walk right up those stairs. And I have drone footage of this property um, right after the fire happened in 2019. But this house is still standing. This is ridiculous. Um, as you come around, you can see how bad the damage is right here. I mean, you can see just how structurally unsound this property is. And it's still standing. Now there was supposed to be a news report um, that I was supposed to be doing with Joe Pakanakis. I don't think it ever aired because it got the coronavirus thing hit just at the same time and he kind of got pulled away. But um, this property is still standing. Um, it still is a danger. And um, it's still, I mean, almost what, six, seven months later? I mean, freaking ridiculous. But that's what it is in this area. It's just not a concern. Now, could you imagine this property in like, on the west side, and like give it like, uh, I don't know, Ohio City, Tremont. You think this house would still be standing like this in Ohio City, Tremont? Even some areas that have been gentrified in Huff, I don't think this house is still standing. Um, it's utterly ridiculous that it's still wide open and uh, that people can still walk into it 
and it is definitely a danger and it's structurally unsound. So definitely want to show you guys this one too. So that's two houses just in the Willow neighborhood alone that are in horrific condition, gutted by fire, that are not only still standing but are also wide open um, so anybody can walk into them. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, I, can't, I, I can't say that enough. Um, you can actually see, if you come around here, you can actually see into the, like, you can actually see up it, like, through the roof. I mean, that's how structurally unsound this property is. Absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, peace.